Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see how you feel about a particular person, Libra, whomever you're coming to the reading for. When I was shuffling off camera, some of you need to listen to your intuition. You need to slow down. Some of you are not meditating, not listening to your intuition, not resting, not getting adequate sleep, maybe even water, but you got to slow down. All right, so let's see how you feel about a particular person that you're coming to the reading for. So you feel like the high priestess, yeah. So maybe you feel like you've been left out or you're, something is left out or there's a bit of unknown, unknowing or something being unknown. But you also feel like this person is, if you're a man or you like women or I don't know, whatever you're, um, whatever it is you are into, you feel like this is a woman or a feminine energy that is above all the women that you know in your life right now, the high priestess. Um, so that's how you feel, Libra. Let's see. Um, you also know that a decision needs to be made here. There could even be secret here. What is this? Uh, <clears throat> how do you feel about this person, uh, Libra? You feel five of pentacles left out. Yeah, like you just don't know. Page of pentacles, like you want to offer something. Knight of cups, like you want this person to fall in love with you. Knight of pentacles, like you want a more committed relationship. Four of pentacles, you want a status change with this person, but there's still some deep-seated issues that either they or you need to deal with. Uh, the three of wands, it's like you want expansion, growth. You want to be with this person, the hangman, but you also feel like maybe it's a secret relationship or they still have secrets or something is secret or um, there something needs to be sacrificed. Maybe... Um, I heard your independence or identity. What the heck does that mean? Ace of Swords. Yes, like maybe you're going to have to make some irrevocable change here. Uh, the Two of Wands, you're going to have to plan something out well. Justice card, you're going to do the right thing. You're going to have to make something happen. You get paperwork also, the Six of Wands. So it's like somebody wants to propose or wants to get married. This is how you feel about your person also, but you still feel like there's a lot of unanswered questions or you just don't know how to go about this. Let's see how your person feels about you, Libra. How does Libra's person feel about them? Um, The Chariot, so they feel like you are dynamic you are strong maybe militant or military or you get things done or you're focused on yourself um you have a nice car you have uh, nice things you keep everything in boxes here you know like this is that and that is this and this is over here um let's see um the five of swords so maybe they feel like um your person feels as if they can't read you maybe you say anything um they feel like maybe you use your words as a weapon um this is how your person feels about you, the nine of swords. So they feel like uh, maybe you're back in a way that there's reversal, the nine of swords. So they feel like uh, maybe this is the end or something is ending. Or they can't cope with the fact that they're separated from you or they, that they can't read you. They feel like it's a very um, mental relationship here. Uh, let's see. Well, how does your person feel? So they feel like the eight of wands, things are moving fast for you or you want to you somebody needs to state intentions here. There's a bit of obsession, either from your person to you or, or, or from you to them. What is the shared energy here? We've got the Queen of Wands. So it's like you both want each other. You're both attracting or attractive to one another. Um, it's just like you both have to get in the energy of settling down and making this happen. Um, there's luck associated, maybe even timing associated with this relationship. Let's see what the astrological uh, cards have to say in terms of this relationship. What do we have to, what's going on here? The ninth house, yeah, travel, adventure, higher education, customs, religion, gurus. All right, so um, check your ninth house and see what planet is there. See, um, this is independence. And then we talked about that. You have to sacrifice your independent nature. You could be dealing with a Gemini or this, your energy, your social butterfly. You like to communicate your ver versatile. You're out there. You have lots of people that you like. There's two sides to you, or maybe you feel like it's two sides to your person. Hang on. 
So this card found Sagittarius could be dealing with the sad. Sad is coming out for everybody. So it's like about time and seeing the big picture, the voyager. I'm um, standing your ground also. Um, so maybe this is what you have to do in terms of, you know, this love relationship. Let's see. What else do we have? Um, the eighth house, eighth house intimacy. So about vulnerability. So this is about vulnerability and being close, being close to one another. Um, this is also um, investments, intensity, contracts, sex. So again, with the Queen of Wands coming out, you both are very attracted to one another. It's just more so, uh, where's this relationship going? It's like the both of you have plans, but I don't know if they're shared plans. Like you both have not sat down and talked about your intentions for with one another, for one another, with this relationship. It's just a lot of action, a lot of doing, and it's separated action. All right, let's see um, how, what's going on for Libra with their career and finance. Some of you don't like this person's sex or something. I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, six of pentacles. So money coming in, money going out. Things are balanced out. Um, you're not in a place of where you're in need. Maybe you have enough to where you can give to others or you need to start giving back, doing your alms or benevolent work. Uh, yeah, the uh, high priest is in the will of fortune. Some of you know that you need to start your own thing, do your own thing. It's like that still voice um, speaking to you, whispering to you about what it is you know you want to embark on, to engage in with the will of fortune here. It could be a change maybe in your uh, career here. Um, a line change is time for you to take the next step now. Some of you need to listen to your intuition about timing, about putting something out uh, on time or timing here. Um, schedule clockwork six of wands because it looks like you're going to have a lot of success in whatever it is you do or whatever it is you're doing ten of cups fortune after difficulty so if it has been a difficult time it will be fortunate someone could come to you with a business idea it could be a loved one just look over the contract look over things if it's feasible why not right um truce being called within um, maybe a family dynamic something that has to do with money maybe there was like um maybe someone owed you money let's see what the future energy is for love for libra some of you could work from home the timing could be up on that or you could get an extension on that i don't know let's see career excuse me what's the future energy for love future energy for love the community all right so i don't know if you're planning something if you're planning to put something together you're trying to talk to people in your sector in the other person's sector you feel like something is hard work with the toil and labor or you you've you know this relation the relationship is hard work let's see mature man so it could be you you could feel like dealing with somebody is hard work um pesky or petty somebody's getting like paperwork together because this talks about paperwork with the courthouse and we saw that here so i don't know if somebody's getting ready to get married or prenuptial agreement or file them papers and get divorced something of that nature um let's see what's happening for uh future energy for career and finance career finance for libra future energy high honor yeah it's like whatever this is you get public recognition six of wands maybe even a promotion for whatever it is you do yeah, false person. There could be someone acting as if they're happy for you, but they are not. Um, let's see. What else is going on? Uh, main female here. So it's somebody that's going to take a number two to you. They don't like that because you're number one. Uh, concern. Somebody slipping into a deep depression, maybe even overthinking of how they can overcome or how they can get back at you. Yeah, somebody's upset. They They see you getting what it is you really want despair somebody see you getting what it is you really want and they're upset that maybe they didn't take action or they didn't make something real or they didn't make the relationship real or they didn't solidify the deal with you or you went somewhere else so that's what i have for you libra if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy ella coffee link you can catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time come learn the tarot with me tarot classes are linked below thank you many blessings to you take care